I've got some sauce for you today. Someone emailed in a little something they've been cooking up. Now, they figured out the tech that Reddit uses to detect whether the browser, whether it will pass. So he sent over a link where you can scan the anti-tech browser you're using before you go to create the Reddit account. If it gives you a good score, you're good to go, create the Reddit account. If it gives you a shit score, then do not create the Reddit account, all right? So I'll show you that in a sec, but first I'll explain why this is important. Now, if you see my other videos, when you create a new Reddit account, after getting banned, you need a new IP, you need a new email, you need new photos, you need all of that, and you need an entity tech web browser. I get, I reckon, 10 comments a day underneath some Reddit video. Okay, my IP just got banned. Can I create a new account on a new IP and then open it up on the open? No, you can't. My old account got banned, but can I use the same IP and use a new email? You can't. My old, my old IP got banned, but can I use a new photo and just create it? No, you can't. It's done. I'm not making 20 videos showing how to use an anti web browser and a proxy if there was another way. All right. Anyway, now when you're doing this, a lot of anti tech web browsers will create them in, will create a browser profile in using generic settings. And now what Reddit uses, V3 capture technology to detect whether the browser looks really generic and whether it's likely to be an anti tech web browser because you know you don't want them knowing that you're using it or whether it looks more genuine grok alluded to this in one of the videos that spoke about this but then i had someone email in saying they've been cooking up something all right so i'll show you that so what you do is you create your entity tech web browser profile with the static residential proxy that you're planning on creating the new reddit account with first you'll go to this website what is it? antcpt.com slash score underscore detector. You'll come to this and you just clear the list. Well, actually there won't be a list if you visit it for the first time and you just go refresh score now. Now what it's gonna do, it's gonna scan the browser you're using, including all the settings and all that, you know, all the generic settings and that we spoke about. And then it's gonna give you a score here. Based on the score, that means whether you should continue creating the red account okay i just spotted a flaw in it because i ran the score earlier and it was 0 0.7 but there is a little thing here saying if you check too frequently it can skew the score all right okay so never mind that there's a bit of a kink in it the first time you come to this website just go refresh and it will give you a score that is the score of your browser don't go refresh again because the score gets skewed this is a good score otherwise this red account wouldn't exist now the point of this is set everything up and then run a quick recapture check on this website before you go through the whole rigmarole of creating a new Reddit account, otherwise you could be wasting your time. So if you get a low score on this, then you know, change some settings on the anti tech browser to make it look less generic, more real, less like an anti tech web browser, and then run the score check again when it's good then you create the reddit account that's the whole point of this now in the email this top bloke also sent over a subreddit he created to check cqs made some other videos where you can check cqs but the problem is when they get really popular and inundated if you check those things too frequently then that can ironically lead to a ban in itself so he created a new one and because it's less populated you can just run a post in here write anything and it will give you a score. I haven't actually used this on any of the Reddit accounts yet, so we'll find out, all right? Here we go, we're testing it live. Um, so we'll just go testing and it will give you a score. This will be a shit score because this is just one of our data uh, lowest. Beautiful, there you go, no ban, all G. So this is another place we can check CQS, but first just make sure the browser is in order, all right? So here's this. You also said this guy is working on something and he can, he has the tech that Reddit uses to check CQS. So I'm in talks with this guy at the moment. I want him to whip up something like this, but um, be able to list all the actions and things that affect the CQS uh, accurately, because we have theories and I'm pretty sure I'm right. Like the ratio between commenting, um, upvoting, posting, etc but I'd love a website or something where we can check it and it will just give you the exact actions you need to do in order to increase the score. But anyway, one thing at a time, this is, yeah, 
anyway, so we got the recapture v3 score detector. So when you're creating your new accounts, before you start creating the Reddit account, come here, check the browser. If you get a low score, change the settings around to look less generic and then change them around. Come to this refresh score. When you get a good score, then create the Reddit account, all right? And anyway, I got you back, all right? So as usual, uh, if you want to know exactly how to create Reddit accounts at scale, how to market OnlyFans, how to get unlimited subs from Reddit by using Reddit, then I have a school because at the end of the day, all we're trying to do is we're trying to get subs from Reddit to OnlyFans so we can make money at the end of the day, all right? The more Reddit videos I make, I'm, I must be appealing to a different audience because they're all getting political and all this shit. And look, all we want to do is make money, right? But anyway, if you want to know how to do that and the exact step-by-step -step framework to get unlimited traffic from Reddit to OnlyFans account, then I have a school. Join below. There's 100 of us in there. Learn from us. Learn from all my step-by-step -step frameworks in there in the classroom, all right? Now, as usual, if you like the video, go smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.